Next speaker, I'm delighted to welcome you now, is from Hibernia College, and we've got Valerie McCormick. Thanks, Paul. Good evening, everybody, and thank you very much for this opportunity to talk to you about Hibernia. Um, that's my agenda for this evening, and uh, they're the topics that I'll go through, and I hope that they'll give you all the information that you will need, and I'll focus on the more important of those for you. Uh, Hibernia was founded in 2000, and this particular course started in 2003. Uh, it has offices, as you can see there, in Dublin, Westport, and London, and various other courses it runs too, with students and graduates really all over the, all over the world. Um, now, this particular course is um, accredited by ETAC, level 8, and uh, 90 European credit transfers, and it's again um, professionally accredited by the Teaching Council. You require um, a level 8 degree and a minimum of grade C in a higher level in Irish and a grade D in mathematics, either ordinary or higher level, and slightly better in English, a uh, grade C in ordinary level, or a grade D in the higher level in <coughs> English for the entry. Okay. Now, um, these are alternatives again in the Irish. You may have um, an, any one of these diplomas, and they will also uh, qualify you for the course. Applications are accepted on a rolling basis, it's not once a year. The next application will be in April of next year. And really this talk tonight is relevant to, to April and not any further than there because the Teaching Council is bringing in um, further requirements with longer teaching practice and so on the following September. So really anything I say tonight is referring to the next cohort of students or the next intake, which will be next April. Uh, there are the details about the application forms, where to download them, and again, what they have to include. Okay, one original and four copies of all documentation. documentation. Interviews take place in Dublin uh, from a Monday to a Thursday from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., and all applicants who have the minimum requirements will be called for interview. And the interview is 15 minutes in English, and 10 minutes in Gaelic, and a lot of people ask again about what is the standard needed in, in Irish and it's really can you converse fluently in Irish, you'll be asked questions and it's not a matter of learning the answers and you'll be asked further extensive questions so really you need really good fluency there in the Irish and it is, it is a case really that people who do fail, fail the Irish at that stage um, that's where Hibernia is, it's central in Dublin, very central, <coughs> so just at the back gate of Trinity College. The interview itself, um, you're assessed in the following areas again, similarly as to what's been said earlier, your communication <coughs> skills, your preparation and presentation skills, um, planning, IT and Gaelic. And um, really you'll be assessed in how much research have you done into teaching, how much do you want to be a teacher, um, your interest will be assessed there. As well. It's a very critical decision and a very important decision for you and you would expect that you would be expected to come up trumps there with your reasons and your commitment to teaching. Um, if you fail the English part of the interview there you can repeat it just the English section if you reapply within six months whereas if you fail the Irish um, you're asked to complete a course, an eight-week course with Gael Culthur and um, they run courses uh, in Cork, for example, there was one run um, face to face, it would be two nights a week over a period of eight <coughs> weeks. And for people where there aren't sufficient number of students to make up one course, it can be run online twice a week over two sa and two Saturdays as well. Um, and obviously then if you fail both the Irish and the English section of the interview, you have to repeat both. Um, Approximately 45% of the course is delivered online. Some people, there's a perception that it's higher than that really, but that's what it is. And it's quite flexible. People ask, you know, can I have a part-time job and do the Hibernian course? 
and really what you have to commit to is um, 12 to 15 hours per week of study and, and lectures that, that will take there and then in particular evenings there will be online tutorials, live tutorials and they take place between 6pm and 8pm um, of an evening and it's generally one hour per subject there. There will also be tutor moderated online discussion forums and an extensive online library. 55% then is on site beginning with an induction course in Maynooth and then uh, there will be usually two Saturdays per month and they're arranged regionally around the country. They vary from year to year because it, dep it depends really on where students are from. So wherever students are grouped they will be um, they will be centred in those areas all around the country. The map now I'll show you. Also then there's a three week composer <coughs> course uh, run in Donegal or Kerry and three blocks of school experience and teaching practice uh, totally 18 weeks in all and then a final written Irish exam as well. That's the current for the students who are on the course at the moment, they're the regional areas but as I said that varies depending on the, the geographic um, homes of the students on the course. Okay, so three blocks of teaching practice then. You, you find your own schools and it's generally in two different schools. The first teaching practice block is a week of observation and four weeks of teaching practice. And the second one is five weeks of teaching practice and more lessons in the day. And the third one is two weeks of, um, of observation in a non-mainstream setting. And what that means there is that for that final teaching practice, you might um, be assigned to the learning support area or a resource area of the school, the maybe an autistic unit or the gifted and talented school completion program, any number of areas there. Um, and uh, in each of those blocks, you receive two supervisions um, you, you, from um, the, the teaching staff in Hibernia. And um, as well as that then, there are support visits given to students who may find the going difficult. Um, but by and large, those supervised visits are offering good guidance and advice and students find them very valuable. Um, each mod module then is separately assessed but the teaching practice one has to be passed independently. <coughs> you, can't, you can't be compensating, you can't use compensation there. And you have to you'll be assessed also in the oral and the written, ex written exam in Irish. And the assessment methods are the following there, case studies, learning logs, which really is to do with your reflective journal, and you can see then your essays, your portfolios, <coughs> lesson plans, and the oral and the written exams. And then to give you an example of the intake that have begun in September this year, um, a, the, their first observation will be next April and to May, and then it will follow with a four-week teaching practice. And then there'll be three weeks in the Gaelthot over the summer. And September, October there, there'll be a week of observation, followed again by a five-week block. And there'll be two weeks observation then following on the following spring. And um, the final teaching block is five weeks, exams in July, and the graduation will be in October. So for people beginning in April 2013, they're graduation would be in June 15 um, and they would be eligible for for jobs in that September okay um, and uh, just to say to you then the um, cost uh, application fee and course fees there um, tells you everything there and as I say that's um, for next April, but following that, when the Teaching Council extends the number of teaching weeks, that um, the fee will probably change there. Um, it's tax relief available on that at the standard rate. Okay. And any information you need is available there from Hibernia, and uh, Facebook, Twitter, 
and the email and the person. <coughs> Again, I hopefully answer questions here tonight, but if you have any further questions that you want to submit, or that if you address them to admissions at earliercollege.net and for the attention of all of them. Okay, I think that's everything. Thank you very much.